If you've been reading tech news lately, you may have noticed a common thread about Big Blue. Intel's processors, 13th and 14th generation, have had this problem, and they've had it for a while now. Some erroneous microcode that is causing the CPUs to essentially overvolt in certain areas and effectively degrades them. And that degradation is physical, it's permanent, it's irreversible. So the patch to prevent this problem from happening in the future is out as of August 8th. So if you have an Intel CPU, update your BIOS. Outside of that, the damage to these Intel CPUs is permanent. It's not going away, it can't be fixed. Now we build computers and we build a lot of computers with Intel processors, 13th and 14th gen included. So naturally we should be receiving a lot of RMA notices, complaints from customers, people saying that they're blue screening, people saying that their CPU is slowing down and we're probably planning on never buying from Intel again. That is what I thought. And that is what I went to Reddit complaining about and hopping on the bandwagon with everybody else saying, this affects the whole pipeline and I'm part of the pipeline. But my boss went through all of the records to check up on how our Intel processor systems were doing and went through all of the return notices, went through all the complaints and went through all of our testing and came up shockingly dry. Uh, we have had virtually no issues with 13th and 14th gen processors from Intel. All of the errors that we've had and all of the hiccups that we've had are completely within our margin for error. And you know, it's not any more bad eggs than you typically expect in any generation. This isn't an isolated statistic either. Puget Systems did their own testing and they came up with mostly the same results. So what's the deal? Why, why have we dodged this problem? Our first theory is that the rumors of Intel's death may have been greatly exaggerated. Now, this could just be a content bandwagon. You know, this, this is an easy thing to yell at Intel for, and granted, it's kind of justified. Though we have avoided the problem, many others have not. It's a real problem that's happening. And if your CPU goes out of commission through no fault of your own, it's incredibly demoralizing. It's the freaking brain of your PC and the first thing that you pick out when you build the rest of it. So essentially, you're getting your build decapitated for as long as Intel takes to ship you a new CPU. Beyond that, you know, this problem has been around, apparently, and will cause issues most likely in the future. Of course, time will tell what those issues are, but it's worth complaining to Intel if you have one of these processors. Beyond that, our second theory is that we're just too damn good at making computers. That's right. We only ship bangers, 10 out of 10s, never missed in our life. Realistically though, um, we really pride ourselves on the point of not just power, but longevity. At Velocity Micro, all of our proprietary tuning techniques avoid things like overvolting, which is something that a lot of other companies do to get a little more performance out of a, a CPU. And it tends to make it a little more unstable and lead to problems like this. Beyond that, all of the cooling solutions that we use exceed the expectations of the CPUs that we attach them to. And we only use motherboards that are proven and have a ton of VRMs. VRMs are what control the electric plumbing on your motherboard. I made a video about it if you want to watch it. It was really good. I nailed it. Now, the problems are still real and more problems could be coming up in the future. So I have a short list of things that we will be doing as a company in reaction to this news. I have it right here. So number one, we'll be spending the next few days validating Intel's patches, then distributing to customers as applicable. Instructions to do it yourself will be on our support portal. Two, we will always use the latest available BIOS. So we'll be implementing these BIOS updates to new builds immediately. And three, because all of our builds also come with individual component warranties, Intel's five-year extended warranty is applicable on all prior shipments. We'll continue to work with customers that have any issues with their processor, especially Intel processors, as well as any other issues that you're having with your PC. All of these links are going to be down in the description, and you can always give us a call at our support number. If you're looking for a Velocity Microsystem that apparently does not have the same Intel issues that everybody else does, then you can give us a call with a number on screen or visit us at the website listed directly below, and we will make you a workhorse PC purpose-built to meet exactly your needs. This has been Marcus, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.